there's two uh, people that work on the uh, House Judiciary Committee. Now that committee is considering a very important law called Stop Online Piracy Act. Now, if they were actually trying to stop online piracy and they only targeted sites that were pirating movies and music, there wouldn't be much of a problem. But the way that the bill is written is, is incredibly broad and it could shut down almost any website in the world and even if they're not doing pirated movies. So if you put up a link to on Facebook to a site that has some pirated movies or music, they could shut down all of Facebook, which is insanity, right? It's way too broad, it could lead to government censorship and any party can shut down any site. It's it, it just unthinkable. It's the, one of the craziest bills I've ever seen. Of course, it's got bipartisan support. Why? Democrats uh, that get money from Hollywood and trial lawyers are in favor of it, and Republicans are like, we're going to give monopoly power to somebody. We jump in it, right? So, but the Judiciary Committee is considering it, and there's two members Alison Halatai, who is a former Deputy Chief of Staff and parliamentarian, parliamentarian to the Chairman, Lamar Smith, who's a Republican. So one of the top aides at that committee, and then Lauren Pasternak, who is a Republican who has served as a senior aide to the committee itself. Those two have now left. Where do they go? You're going to be surprised to find out. They went to K Street. Who could have seen that coming? And apparently they got huge salaries to go work for the Hollywood industries that they just wrote the bill for. Wow, how weird. In fact, uh, let me be more specific. Halatai went to the National Music Publishers Association, and Pasternak went to the Motion Pictures Association of America. Pirated music, pirated movies, they write a bill that is incredibly broad, and we give those two industries enormous power over the internet, and then they get rewarded for it. Golly gee, it's not like anybody points this out, except us every single day. By the way, does any other media outlet point it out? Uh, so here's Ivan Adler. Uh, he is from the McCormick Group, and he's a headhunter that looks for lobbyists like this. He says, quote, it's kind of Katie bar the door as far as what they'll pay for talent. Now, I bring you that quote because I love the ending. Talent. <laughs> like, these people have talent. Their only talent is selling out the American people. They're like, how much do I need to get paid? Music industry, movie industry, you're going to pay me a ton of money? Great. How do you want me to write the bill? And it's not just that they help to craft this bill that's so much in favor of these two industries. It's also those industries signaling to everybody else working in those committees. Hey, if you're good boys and girls, you're going to get paid off like Pasternak and, and Holiday. You look at all the money we just gave them. Be good. Play team ball. You get paid later. You're bribe. Okay? Uh, Carl Thorson is a former GOP aide. He works on these type of issues. I love his quote. He says, professionals who bring this kind of experience with them downtown generally improve the process all around, and their involvement is a positive regardless of who they represent. <laughs> they improve the process. Oh, I'm sure they do for the lobbies that they now represent. They improved it greatly for them by writing the bill exactly how they wanted it. Did they improve it for the rest of us? Has the process gotten better? No, they're about to do the most hideous bill you've ever seen in regards to the internet. Well, but they got paid a lot of money. So, hey, they're very happy. By the way, there's a one-year lobbying ban on these guys that if they were working on that committee, they cannot go and uh, lobby that committee. But it is such a joke. First of all, they can lobby any other committee they like. Second of all, they're not, going, they're not paying them to lobby. They're not paying them to do uh, for their expertise. There's a political article that I'm getting this from. Politico keeps talking, and I have experts talking about, oh, they know people, they know policy, they know the process, they know they have all this expertise. <laughs> Expert who cares about their expertise? It's a bribe. It's a bribe. Do you understand? It's institutional corruption. What's sick about it is that it's actually legal. And it happens all the time. By the way, it happened in the uh, financial committee just in uh, 2009. The head of that uh, top aide for then House Financial Services Committee Chairman Barney Frank, Michael Pace, left. Who did he join? Wow, he became the top lobbyist for Goldman Sachs. Who could have seen that coming? It happens every day. These guys who work in Congress look at it as a piggy bank. They're like, all right, who can I get a lot of money from if I screw over the American people and screw them hard? All right, great. Then Goldman Sachs, you know, Motion Picture Association, who do you need me to screw over? Great. You give me the bill, I'll write it, and then you pay me, and we'll call it a legal bribe. I mean, 
pay me for my expertise and talent. This system is gross, man. Wolf-pack.com.